The word that I come across the most often would be reflection. I'm Jeff Koons. We're in my uh, studio in New York City. Jeff, here's a gift for you. Can you make something with this? It's, uh, I, I hate to disrupt this box. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's great. That's, uh, it's really nice. So let me just look at it to see what I would do with it at this uh, point. That uh... The idea of reflection really comes from shine. It comes from light. And if we look at different theologies across the world, you can see that they're really based in the concept of light because you know, we're biological beings. We come from nature and we're dependent on light. Uh, a flower turns itself towards the sun. We turn to brilliance, we turn to shine. When I think of reflection, I think about abstraction. There are metaphysics that are taking place and a reflection's in a slightly different time than the right here and now. It's slightly slower in a reflection you have the polarities taking place between light and dark. Uh, I think I appreciated light in general. I, I remember Christmas tree balls on, on a tree. The memory I enjoyed a lot was going to Marine World in Florida, and I would see dolphins jump out of the kind of big aquarium tank and go through hoops and, you know, light was reflecting on the water. Were you a good boy or a bad boy? I think I, I was a, a good boy. But no, I had a side that was very curious and exploratory. I definitely would have part of that transgressive investigative side to me. These are all the colors within one section of the painting behind me. Each one of these are sections with a list of the colors within that section. I think a lot about my work before I make it and I decide whether I'm going to commit to making uh, something. And uh, once I make that decision, uh, I've really have pre-thought everything. So uh, very rarely would I ever make anything. I, actually, it's only maybe only ever happened once that at the end I thought, mm, this wasn't exactly what I intended. This is just a sample. This is not stainless steel, but it's a sample of a piece that's been sprayed with some colors that we have been putting together for uh, a cloth of a Hercules sculpture. Uh, but this was just an early test. I've had to be very patient in the development of my art. The realization of those pieces and the type of dedication that it takes to see something through. You have only one chance at it and then you know, once you're finished and you walk away, that's the state that it's going to be in, you know, for as long as it can continue to exist, so. Would you give me an advice? If there's anything that I've learned in life, it's to trust in the self, follow your interests, and really intensely focus on them. It will always take you to that universal vocabulary. Better just stick with that. <laughs> but it's more like just uh, being a little curious and uh, and coming out.